Hiya folks, um, here's a what's spinning um, video for you. Uh, just a little announcement, I've decided to change a few things with this channel. I shan't be exclusively contra uh, concentrating on heavy metal CDs anymore. Um, I shall be doing books, uh, comic books, sports cards, that sort of stuff, when and then. The main emphasis will still be on the metal, the music, because that's my main thing. But I do uh, obtain other stuff from now and then. And uh, I shall sort of put them out on the channel. But uh, just to show you, I've, I've really been playing a lot of stuff just recently. And I've discovered a couple of new CDs uh, that are really good I want to show. But uh, this is just a small proportion. I'll make a few more videos. But the first band is, uh, well, there's a couple actually. The first two what was what Greg had on his channel and I sort of jumped on to them because they're really really good the first one is this one this is a, a band out of California called the God well they were called the God Awfuls but I think they've changed their name now to a brand new war uh, this album is absolutely a killer if you like Sex Pistols, Clash, Green Day uh, that sort of stuff right up your street it's on the Kung Fu records never heard of that one before it's got a really really nice uh, cover and uh, yeah it's just an amazing amazing record the only criticism I've got with it is a bit sweary and uh, you know I think it's very very political and um, you know if anybody's watching this just thought I'd better warn you but the chords are absolutely amazing and I believe these toured Ireland they have toured England before but yeah Greg put me onto this for three pound what i pay for it it's definitely worth worth it you can't go wrong 10 out of 10. i did a video short on this record and i i messed it up because i was look i didn't know how to do shorts at the time and um it's down the bottom if you want to see it but I, this is another record that greg held up and thanks mark i got the covers he knows what i mean um mark c with a g that is and uh, yeah this is the green day bbc sessions uh made of l i believe it used to be an ice rink i may may be mistaken but basically if you don't know about this there was three three or four sessions and one of them was very very famous because uh billy bless him the lead singer um he was singing a song and it contained an f word now he was allowed to say s words but he wasn't allowed to use the mighty f bomb and apparently the censors completely missed it and it ended up on the radio which was a big no-no but the reason why i bought this cd was basket case it's my one of my favorite day tracks and that's a track list in there and it's a really really uh, good version of it so that went to my collection now next two are live albums that i took a chance with I don't know they're bootlegs or authorised. Um, you can help me out by sticking it up at the bottom of the uh, video. The first one was Alice Cooper's Monsters of Rock in Santiago, Chile. I believe the album was Hey Stupid. Um, the reason why I bought it was because it had Desperado on it and uh, there's a killer version of Ballad of Dwight Fry on it. I didn't know that at the time I bought it. I just bought it because I wanted Desperado. But it's an absolute killer concert. It's great quality. That's a track listing. But uh, and a couple of weak sort of r rubbishy tracks. But the rest of it's solid. Absolutely amazing. And it wasn't very expensive either. But I've played this about 20 times since I've had it. I'm a big Alice Cooper fan. But whether it's official who knows but i'm pretty sure um a hey stupid uh alice, 20, alice cooper's 20th studio album the Mastication, was released by epic records on july the 94 but that's it there but yeah it's just a nice release but it's just uh, definitely worth buying if you're an alice cooper fan you can't beat it now the next one i actually remembered uh, I didn't at the time was Twisted Sister Live now um, it's on the Armoury Records but I actually remembered this gig back in the day let me explain why 
Um, I think it was done at the Hammersmith Odeon, and Motorhead performed there two weeks before. And when the when the Lemmy was in, the crowds could go to the stage. But Twisted Sister went there two weeks later, and all the crowds had to remain seated. And Dee Snyder kicked off, which he does in this, and it ended up in the papers. That's how I remember it back in the day. But when I bought this CD, I didn't realise this was the actual gig where D. Snyder kicked off. So it was a bonus. But yeah, definitely worth buying. Um, it's got my favourite song of it, um, Come Out and Play. It's got all the standard um, Twist Sisters uh, songs. And um, it's also got a couple of J Jailhouse Rock and Train Keep a Rolling, which is sort of like the last two tracks. And it's got all their um, anthems on. Hang on, I don't think it's got to come out and play. Oh, I thought it had. It's probably my eyesight. It's that bad now, I can barely read it. Um, but yeah, it's just a killer, killer release. Uh, definitely go out and fetch you if you need uh, Twisted Sister. There's the cover. So, well, it might be off, or if it comes in a poster format. Uh, I'm not going to... I've covered the word over. I don't, I'm sorry, but I don't allow that stuff on this channel. In case any, and that, this is not made for kids. But I don't any, any kids sort of watching might see it and get me into trouble. But that's a nice little poster. Just a little bit of news. I've actually pulled the uh, trigger on the new Aussie album. I hope to do a video about it, but I've actually cracked... I had mixed reservations about it to start with and uh, there's one track I really really like off it and um, but what I've heard is pretty decent but uh, see what happens I'll do a video anyway folks that's me done and love each other and uh, be kind to each other I'll see you next time with some more uh, music take care